Welcome to my Bucket plugin coding tutorial series. In this first episode I will be showing you how to install the Eclipse which is something called an IDE, I'm not going to get into that, um, which basically allows you to code in it. Um, so in this series I'm not going to be teaching you Java itself, I'm just going to be going through some things to do with Bucket. Um, so when I first learned I didn't learn Java at first, but I would definitely recommend you do. Uh, it makes your life a lot easier in the long run. Anyway, so you're going to want to go to the internet. I'm using Chrome obviously as you can see, but you can use whatever you want. And paste the link in. I will put that link in the uh, in the description. So it will bring to this page. Uh, so you're going to want to download Eclipse IDE for Java developers and 64 or 32-bit depending on your system. Um, and then click download. So now it will take a while to download. So once it downloads, you're going to open the file and go into the Eclipse folder. Now you're going to want to run the application that is Eclipse and click Extract All. From here, you're going to want to browse to um, a location. So I put mine on my desktop in a folder called Eclipse, but um, I'm not going to go through with that because obviously I've already got it installed. So that's how to install it. Now I'll go through how to actually create a plugin. So once you have your Eclipse open, it will look a little something like this. There'll be loads of uh, things along the right side and along the bottom, and it'll also be in a light theme. Um, you'll have a welcome message. Uh, just close the welcome message. I'm pretty sure you can click somewhere towards the bottom right if you don't want to see the welcome message again. But I might be wrong, it might be somewhere else. So in this uh, package explorer part on the left, what we're going to do is right click, new, Java project. So this is the name of the project within your system. Um, this won't be seen by anyone else, so call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it YouTube as, yeah, that's what this is pretty much. So you'll now get this. Um, and what you're going to do is right click on it, build path add external archives and um, now you're going to want to add a spigot or bucket plugin jar file um, so for this example I'll be adding the 1.10.2 spigot jar um, you can download these from the internet anywhere or if you have a server already just take it from your FTP and use the same one that you're using on the server that would be the smartest thing to do so now you're going to go to right click on SRC and click new and click package. So you're going to want to do this something like a website. So most people would do me dot their name dot plugin name. However, personally, I do prevail dot then my name and then the plugin name. So now you're going to right click on the package you just created, click new class and you're going to want to, so there's two options here, either call it main or the plugin name. The plugin name would be the smarter idea. Obviously you can name it anything else but they're the smartest things. So now you have this, so um, after the class name, before this curly bracket you're going to type extends java plugin so the j and the p have to be capital the extends has to be lowercase and then you're going to do hold control hold shift and press o or alternatively you can hover over it and click import java plugin so now you're going to want to do public void on enable then two curly brackets, well, two normal brackets. And within this, this is the code that will be ran when you start the, the server and the plugin is loading. Just for demonstration is I'm going to make it send a message to the console. So I'm going to do bucket dot get console sender dot send message. And then I'm just going to do um, uh, YouTube is enabling and then outside of that you're going to want to do something similar public void on disable 
So this is the code that runs when you're shutting the server. So for purposes of speed I'm just going to copy that. But when you're learning you should type everything out every time because it gets you in the habit of doing it. So when I start the server it will say this and when I stop the server it will say this. However you're not quite done yet. So right click on your SRC, click new, file. And you're going to type plugin.yml, all lowercase. So now there's a few things you need in here. Firstly you need name, then you need author, version, main, and description. The order of these does not matter. So name. Name is the name of the plugin that will show up in the uh, slash plugins list. I'm just going to call it YouTube. Author would be your name. Version would be a version string. So uh, when it, this is something you'll use when you're making public plugins. Um, for example, if you like completely recode a plugin or something, uh, then you could put 2.0 rather than 1.0. However, for now, just put 1.0. It it doesn't doesn't change anything. It's just yeah. So main, this is where you put this in. So you put the package that you so you put your package in. So prevail for asking. YouTube and obviously yours will not be the same as that yours will be different then you're going to put another uh, another dot and then put the, uh, your class and um, this is all case sensitive by the way everything everything's case sensitive these all need to be lowercase this all has to be the same case that is over here otherwise your plugin will not work and then description is just you know a description of the plugin so a YouTube tutorial tutorial by asking so you essentially now have a plugin this will load and uh, it won't really provide any functionality but this is a plugin so just to show that it works what you're going to do now okay so what you do now is you need to export that and so right click on it click export. Now in here you're going to want to make sure that you have jar files selected under Java. Then click next and in here you're going to want to make sure that these are both selected and you have the thing you want to export selected. Now you're going to want to choose a path so I have you know a, a, a folder for all my plugins which I just do it all in there and then you're going to want to name it YouTube or, uh, and then you're going to want to name your plugin then click finish. So the server is now enabled and you can see here that the message I put earlier appears and if I type in the plugins command you can see that YouTube appears in the plugins list. So you now have created your own plugin. It doesn't really do anything but you now know how to actually create a plugin. Um, so that's all for this first episode. I hope you've enjoyed. If this helped you please leave a like and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.